In this tutorial, what we are going to do is figure out a way to transition from a scene where we're moving on the z-axis, kind of going back, and then our next scene is a top-down view. So what we want to do is be able to match that top-down view as we transition. So the first thing we want to do is basically set up our basic scene that we have where we're animating before the transition happens. So for this one, I'll just say we'll just say we're kind of zoomed in kind of close. So I just put a keyframe on Z at the very beginning and what we're going to do is just slowly dolly back. So let's say we'll go up to around frame 30. So we'll just slowly be pulling back here. Something like that. And then right here is where we need to transition to our top view. That way we can match. Let me show you what's happening in scene one or scene two. We can match this view where we're looking straight down on this turntable and a cup of coffee. Okay, let's look in camera one again. Turn on scene one. Okay, so we've got our movement on the camera going to a Z. So we're just pulling back. And then right here, we're gonna pause for a second and then we'll do start a transition rotating up. So I'm gonna click on the null and we want to rotate not on that axis, but on this axis right here and just rotate up something like that. So we'll start that right there on 30. We'll go forward about, let's try six frames there, rotate up. And so what we want to do is we want to do half of this here to something like that. And then we'll finish that rotation in the next with the next camera. So we'll finish that way. We end up at minus 90 when the transition's complete. So I'll record that right there. So let's go in, let's grab our stage object, rewind, put camera one in there for the beginning of the animation. And then right at 36, where we want to switch, we'll drop camera two in there. And then what we need to do is animate scene one off, right there. We'll go back one frame where it should be on. So we animated that on. So now it goes, it's on right there, turns off right there. Do the opposite for scene two. So it is off on frame 35, 36, turns on. Let's rewind that, check that out. There we go, so that's switching. Now we have to finish that camera move. So what we can do is go to the null on camera two. And what we wanna do, I'm gonna go to the camera and oops, not that one. I just wanna zoom out a little bit more, something like that. Let me frame that up a little bit better. Let's go to the camera, turn on our grid, turn it down to two so we get that center point. So we can see where the center point of our scene is. And let's just use our camera to match that up a little bit better. Then what we'll do is go to our null and then this is where we want to animate this movement. So let's start, I think we were right at 50 at the last one, but I'm gonna actually start a little bit earlier than that and just see what that looks like. We may have to go to 50. And we'll go forward six frames. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll go up to minus 90. So we're top down, it's right there. All right, let's check that out. So the last thing that we want to do is we want to finish some kind of camera movement on scene two, so we're not just stuck right there. So let's do something similar where we get on camera two and go to the position and maybe we can just animate pulling back a little bit on the Z axis. So right after we finish our rotation on 34, let's start a Z position animation. So we'll do that. And then we'll just slowly pull back all the way to the end of our animation. I'm going to fix this again. 
left, so we don't see that edge. All right, let's check that out. So one thing we can try is we can also try to start this Z animation on this camera at the same time that we started our rotation. Let's just check that out and see what that looks like. So I'm just gonna move the Z position back so it starts at the same time. So we're doing that and rotating at the same time. So a little bit of a difference there. I think one thing that could help this, instead of easing into that Z position, if we grab our curve for the Z position of the camera and just make that linear, so there's no easing at the beginning. And I think we should do the same thing for our rotation. So I'm gonna click rotation, click H to frame this up. And you can see that we've got a little bit of easing, zoom in a little bit, at the beginning of this rotation, which we don't want. So we want that to be linear at the beginning. And we also want our camera right click show cur F curves on this null rotation. We want this to also not ease in as we're leaving this transition. We want it to be linear at the end there too. There we go. That way it's a little bit more snappy. And we can ease into it, but then at the end, it's linear matching. If I click on this, right click, show F curves matching this curve that we've got at the beginning right here. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. I will see you in the next one.